In this video we have some really exciting news. Hello World Runners, Alfie here. Um, and this week we have some, some really interesting news. I'll cut to the chase. Uh, the thing is uh, Marshall Jones, one of the main uh, developers and of, of the game, has released has publicly released uh, pretty much all of the materials that they were working on, you know, before the sad cancellation of uh, of the IP. Um, so uh, it's public; it's uh, free to download. So I'll uh, I'll write the the link so you can download it if if you will. And I just wanted to uh, what to talk a little bit about you know the contents and you know what's what's included. In it, which is really really exciting. Okay, so in the um, in the PDF that has been released, as I said, you know, available available to to download, we can find uh, a little bit more fluff uh, regarding you know the the most recent events in the Mutant Chronicles universe. And then we have uh, formations, okay, which is pretty good. You know, it's kind of like lists, pre made lists combining you know several. Factions and all that, you know. So we have a Inquisitor Hamilcar's uh, Strike Force, pretty cool. We have Mishima Cybertronic Allied Enhanced Formation. Uh, don't actually know the number of points that you have for that. Freedom Lands uh, Fighting Force, okay, which uh, is uh, Bauhaus and uh, Brotherhood combined. Alakai's Special Forces for the Dark Legion. And uh, moving on to so we also have uh, another pretty pretty interesting aspect. You know, one of uh, the ones that I've uh, that I've enjoyed the most, uh, which is uh, weather conditions, uh, em environmental hazards, you know, and things like that. I have to say though that you know some some of the material that has been released is uh, well was in development. It wasn't really. Uh, tested, you know, tried and tested. So uh, it still has to be um, proved, you know, by by proof, provers and, and, and players to see if it's you know if it's balanced, if it's suitable, etc., etc. But we have some really cool stuff here. So we have, uh, for example, uh, as I said, you know, for the weather effects, environmental hazards that affect the game, we have we have, for example, one of them. Uh, burning skies. Okay, depending on you know the the intensity of, of of the event, you know we have effects like you know all models within two inches of an impact marker suffer a strength three gas auto hit, or we have dust storms, acidic rain. You know, pretty pretty cool stuff, really. We also have uh, a scenario pack, okay, by Brian F. Kenny. It's called uh, Contacts, Blood in the Snow. We also have the, uh, the full uh, POW, po, uh, Personas of Warzone, uh, which is, you know, the pack uh, with the instructions on how to create your own, your own characters, which is pretty cool. I have uh, sort of like experimented uh, with uh, creating um, a Mishima uh, character, which we also have what is probably one of my favorite things about you know these releases. Uh, it's called uh, deniable operations, and it's sort of like you know uh, simplified. Not really. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's a skirmish mode for for wars and resurrection in which you use the main rules, along with a few changes like you know for example. Uh, new actions, uh, or the fact that you know you don't really command squads, you command you know individual models uh, as if as if they were characters. Uh, also, um, units don't really die; they just you know become uh, dying markers that can be reanimated or definitely uh, definitely killed. And it's kind of like um, I mean, I don't like you know comparing games, but it's kind of like a, a mode that allows you to play. So Play Warzone as if it was uh, more time or uh, or kill team, you know that sort of like you know small skirmish game with fewer miniatures, and you know more based on on you know special operations, spec ops, and you know that sort of thing. It's pretty cool, you know some really interesting missions, and you also have NPCs, and you know it's really really interesting. I strongly recommend that you give it a give it a go. Uh, Albeit, you know, I have to say it, it still hasn't been tested. Okay, it's not really 
you know, um, it's not really proved. So uh, maybe with a few tweaks, you know, it'll be uh, up and running in, in no time. Uh, also, of course, we have new characters. Uh, I don't want to go through all of them so that, you know, you, you know not to spoil uh, the the read for you, but, you know, uh, we have characters for pretty much all factions, uh, you know, characters that unfortunately won't won't be released, you know, fully released, you know, along with, uh, with miniatures, but, you know, uh, here we we can always proxy. Uh, the important thing is that we have the the stats and special abilities. So, for example, for Bauhaus we have the the Bauhaus dragoons and the Saurian riders. Okay, you know, really, really, really anticipated unit. Okay, for the Brotherhood we have uh, characters such as uh, the uh, Death Angel and the Elite Troopers. You know, really cool stuff. Uh, for Capital. We have the Assault Marines and uh, the Puma, okay, it's a, it's a workhouse aircraft. We also have more units for, for the cattle, okay, we have of course the Emancipator. We also have the cartel uh, Freelancers, we have uh, Lane Chung, probably one of the coolest guys, uh, Seth Kyo, uh, which I think is kind of like Mishima and Cybertronic. Uh, for Cybertronic, we have the the Reavers, we have the Shock Troopers, for the Dark Legion we have uh, the Dark Legion Centurion, which is, you know, again, you know, another greatly anticipated unit. We have the Ezogul, you know, another classic from the Mutant Chronicles universe. With uh, Ilian we have, uh, we have a vehicle, the Void Blade, it's a flyer. We have the War Dogs. We have Saladin as well. For Imperial Ministry of War, we have uh, some new characters Trevor Bartholomew, another classic from the Mutant Chronicles universe. The Nighthawk as well, which is another flyer, in this case for, for Imperial. The Wolf the wolf Banes also get the new units. Uh, we have, for example, the Berserkers, we have a, a, a female character as well called Fiona Kingsfield. We have a pretty cool uh, helicopter, okay, the Hugin, which allows you know allows you to uh, to deploy you know uh, well carry carry troops and, and deploy without landing. It's you know pretty cool cool feature. And finally, for Mishima, we have uh, you know two of my favorite units. Uh, we have the Kamikaze uh, warheads, which you know, you can imagine what they do, and uh, we have new characters like Joe Jimbo, for example, which I think is a Hatamoto, uh, like a like a Hatamoto character. This new release, uh, we also have uh, a novelet. You know, the first few chapters of a novelet written by Marshall Jones, uh, called Seeds of the Citadel. So. You know, plenty of material, plenty of new material, uh, a lot of work for us Warzone is to, to get our teeth in uh, for the next few days. So, uh, well, you know, uh, more more options and, you know, more uh, game modes and more units. So, you know, really, really exciting stuff. So, I'd like to, uh, to announce that, you know, I'll be at uh, an event uh, next weekend, you know, it's a... Uh, table talk uh, game you know here in Santander it's uh, it's kind of like game con or you know those sort of, those, uh, sort of events so a half hour or some table and I'll be trying my best to, to promote the game so if you're around or if you want to drop by and, and see what Santander is like and, and the scene is like you know of course you're more than welcome okay that'll be uh, Saturday the 8th of uh, December I think uh, 2018 and just you know, look for me, I'm pretty recognizable and I'll be glad to see you. Um, until then, thank you very much for watching and as usual, uh, please consider share, subscribe and you know, all that. Okay, see you in the next video and I hope to see you uh, in the war soon.